it's becoming clear that we have a number of pillars, building construction and property being a, a pillar, debt recovery and insolvency being a pillar, and your general commercial contract dispute type work as a pillar. The individual owner and entrepreneur of the business that they've conceived and are now running, you know, the approach there is very different to the state-owned corporation or the state government client or the council client. All the lawyers in the team understand these differences and I like to think pretty adept at giving the right level of service for you know, matching the level of service to the clients. So you have private clients and some SMEs who require a particular style of service. Managed SMEs or professionally managed SMEs require a different approach. Publicly listed companies require a different approach. Councils, state government and state-owned corporations require a different approach. We're able to, to move between those clients quite comfortably. The amount of money locked up now in family trusts, in self-managed super funds, in family businesses that may, may be controlled by either of those entities in some way, either the property or the business itself, just generally driven by uh, intergenerational transfer issues, we're going to see much more family-related dispute work in Sydney and in New South Wales or in Australia. It's an area that is a big focus for us. We're seeing a lot of activity in the online unsecured lending space. Now, whether that gives rise to dispute work in terms of the, the customers of those businesses, it, it may not significantly because they, they seem so far to be pretty good at vetting the customers and clients that they have. But we can see some activity in terms of consolidation of that market, in terms of you know, assistance provided around the, the commercial aspects of what they're trying to achieve in, in that area of the market. So consolidation is something that we're expecting over the next few years and increased regulation from the regulator. Um, we're expecting after the Royal Commission for the spotlight to go from the, from the banks themselves, the big banks, to the non-bank lenders and to the unsecured lending space.